Today, I'm super excited to share with you guys my new After Effects plugin called Workflow. If you're watching this video right now, Workflow is officially out. It's gonna be the first link in the description. Go over to my website and download it. It's gonna save you guys so much time in After Effects. As a lot of you guys may know, I already came out with a plugin called Shake Sauce about six months ago, and you guys showed so much support on it that it just inspired me to create more After Effects plugins. And honestly, the way I develop it, it's a little bit selfish. It's just stuff that I like using. For example, shakes, I wanted a better way to add shakes in my project. And now with Workflow, it's just streamlining those little actions that add up over time and just slow down your workflow. Basically what workflow is, is just a shortcut to create new layers and auto trim them to the length of clips and also a few other features that I'll touch on in a little bit in this video. But now I think it's time that I show you how to install workflow and then give you guys a quick little demo on it. So once you've downloaded workflow for my website, like I said, link is in the description if you wanna follow along, you should be given a JSX file called workflow. Just make sure you know where that's at and then go into After Effects. It's really simple to install. Just go to file, go to scripts and then install script UI panel. Click that and go ahead and find where workflow is and click select. Then go ahead and close and reopen After Effects and go up to window. And then all the way at the bottom, you're gonna see workflow.jsx. Click that and it'll pop up somewhere on your screen. You'll see these eight buttons here and then brindelmata.com. I've been docking it either underneath my effects controls and project panel here. Recently, I've been liking it on the right a little bit more. So I just dock it here and then bring it down to fit the scale right next to Shake Sauce. And I think it just looks kind of nice. If you don't wanna see brindelmata.com, you can kind of just Go like that. I think it looks cool because it ties in with the green with shake sauce. And also, if you ever want to download anything, you can literally just click that link and it'll bring you right to my website. So now that we have workflow installed in After Effects, I want to show you some of my favorite ways to use it and how I've been using it because I've had it for like around a month now and it's been saving me a lot of time. So starting off, probably the nicest feature that I really like about it is, you know, when you go ahead and right click and make a new adjustment layer, then it makes it the whole length of your clip. Let's say you only wanted it over this clip. You go here, click on the adjustment layer, control shift D, split, delete. And now you have an adjustment layer this length. It's not like the most insane same process to make an adjustment layer, split it, delete one side and have it the length of your clip. But with workflow, it's really easy. You just select on the clip you want it to be the length of, and then just go up and make whatever you want. A light, a shape, an adjustment layer, a solid text, whatever you want. You click that and it makes it that length instantly. It has this nice green color to it just to tie in with shake sauce and also the text down here. And say you wanted it to be the length of these two clips here, you just highlight both of them. And then again, go to adjustment layer. It's going to make it above both of those clips and the length of that clip. And the same thing goes for all of these objects like text, solids, lights, shapes, nulls, camera, adjustment layer. Those all will function the same way. A nice thing about text is it will actually inherit whatever's in the character here. So you can see I have monster at black italic 140. If I were to change this from black italic to thin, and then go ahead and make a new text layer, it will make it automatically the thin. So basically all the settings that are here, it will auto do if you change the color or whatever. It's just a nice feature to have. One nice feature is if you click a solid, it'll automatically make a solid. But if you alt click solid, it lets you choose the color before you do it. So say we wanted it to be blue, it will make it blue. A few of the buttons that I don't personally use too often are something like split or duplicate, just because I use the keybinds a lot. But if you guys aren't familiar with the keybinds, it does help save a little bit of time. One of the ones I do use a lot is the pre-comp. So you just highlight whatever clips you want to be pre-comped. Let's say these two first ones here, click comp and it'll auto pre comp it. And it's just nice because you don't have to right click, go to pre comp, choose all the options and click OK. And then sometimes you forget and then it opens up the comp when you don't really ever want it to open up the comp. So by default, it just auto puts them in a comp and then doesn't open it. And if you do want to open it, obviously you just double click and you're in. I found it just keeps my workflow a little faster and also my workspace up here with all the different comps just cleaner because it doesn't auto open it. Another really nice thing about workflow is I know when you copy a clip from one composition to another and then you press control V, you can see the layer here but you don't know where the clip is and you have to like to get to it you'd have to go to like composition settings make it longer and then find the clip that's at least what i would do but now with workflow you just click in and it brings the start of the clip to wherever your playhead is so say you go here click in it'll bring it there and the same thing for out it'll just bring the end of the clip to wherever the playhead is so if we click out here it's going to bring the last frame in the clip to the playhead and I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite ways to use workflow is in combination with Shake Sauce. So let's go ahead and make an adjustment layer above this clip here. And then on that adjustment layer, add XY Shake Light by double clicking onto the adjustment layer. And then we have this nice light shake over this clip of Drake. Again, it's really nice when there's two clips and then you wanna apply a light shake to both of them, highlight both of them, click adjustment layer, go to that adjustment layer, double click on XY Shake Light. And there we have it. We have a nice shake over this first clip. And as you can see, it continues to play throughout over the second clip here as well. I'm super excited for you guys to get your hands on workflow, give some feedback and just play around with it. It's more on the simple side of plugins, but if you use After Effects the way I do, all these things do add up. It's kind of cool just to have like different windows in After Effects that most people don't. Before a lot of people started to find out about Shake Sauce, I always loved having it open. And then when they would see my After Effects, they'd be like, whoa, what was that? And it's just nice to have those like little things that feel a little bit more premium in After Effects and make the experience just better. If you're interested in workflow, you want to support the channel, save yourself some time while editing and also just kind of have a fun 
fun time in After Effects. I'll have workflow linked in the description. It's going to continue to be on sale for the next 48 hours. I try to make it as affordable as possible. That way, if you're interested in it, it's a no brainer and you can go ahead and just add it into After Effects. I'm giving one copy away on YouTube. So if you like the video and then comment down below why you want workflow, I'm going to randomly select a comment there. I'm also going to be using a giveaway bot in my Discord server and giving away one copy there. And then finally, I'm going to be giving away another copy on my Instagram. So for your best possible chance to win, go ahead, drop a like and a comment on this video, join the Discord and be ready for that giveaway. And then also follow me on Instagram and have my notifications on. That way you guys can see when I do that Instagram story. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. You're going to continue to see workflow in all of my tutorials moving forward. So if you're like, whoa, what is that? It's workflow. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.